Today we're talking about cacao. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren. I am talking all things plant-based, holistic health and wellness. I have a bachelor's degree in nutrition and six years of living plant-based under my belt, and I wanna share everything I know with you. Today, I'm gonna to talk about one of my favorite superfoods, cacao. <laughs> Uh, so not just cacao powder, we're going to be talking about what cacao is, what cocoa powder is, what the differences are between the two, all of the superfood benefits that are in this beautiful cacao, and then what are some things you can do with cacao. I'm going to mention a couple recipes that are my favorites for using cacao smoothie, energy balls. I'm going to talk about it all and link it all below. So let's get into it. So what is cacao? The cacao tree is native to tropical regions, Central America, South America, and it has been consumed for a really long time, like over 4,000 years ago, Mayans were consuming cacao. Cacao plants have two edible parts. They have the seeds, seeds, <laughs> and then the fruit. Even raw cacao products are not made just straight from the seed. They are fermented and dried and they have to go through this process to actually be used in even the raw products. You're not just going to pull it from this bean pod seed and stick it right into a product. It's going to be processed a little bit, but the process for cacao is going to be really different than the process for cocoa powder. So what is the difference between cacao and cocoa powder. The difference lies in how it's processed. Cacao beans are dried, fermented, and heated at very low temperatures, so it retains its nutrient profile. Cocoa is roasted, it is heated at a much higher temperature, so the result is actually sweeter, but with a lower nutrient profile. When you heat things, you're going to lose and kill off some of those nutrients. So that is why cacao is this magical superfood because it's retained so many of its nutritional properties. Okay, let's talk benefits of cacao. Cacao is packed with antioxidant effects. It has flavonoids and phytochemicals which can actually protect against free radical damage to our cells. Oxidative stress can cause premature aging and a lot of the modern day health concerns we're seeing today is caused from free radicals. I talked about this a lot in my last video on, it was actually on vegan collagen and skin health, but I went into oxidative stress. So if you're interested, I will link that here somewhere. Cacao can actually lower your blood pressure. Studies have shown that cacao can actually help to increase blood vessel flexibility and actually lower our blood pressure. Cacao beans are also rich in so many nutrients like magnesium, which magnesium can help to improve our mood and relieve stress. And that's why having a little bit of cacao, if you ever felt like you've had something with cacao in and you feel like slightly zened out, a little more chill, there's a ton of magnesium in that. So that can actually be what's helping to improve our mood and chill us out and zen us out. So how to buy cacao, how to look for a quality cacao. You wanna look for cacao that is organic and that is ethically sourced. I recently bought cacao from Thrive Market. It was my first time buying from Thrive Market, I actually did a haul on what I found there, which I will link below. Um, so I was really happy with their cacao. There has been heavy metals found in some lower quality cacao, so it is really important to pay attention to where you're getting cacao, if it's organic, where is it, is it ethically sourced? So you've probably seen a lot of different cacao products. So let's just go over the basics. Cacao nibs are the dried beans, chunks of the dried beans. If you imagine eating like a 100% dark chocolate bar, that's kind of what cacao nibs taste like. It's just dark, dark, no sweetener, and they're crunchy. I will link my favorite brand of cacao nibs below. Cacao powder is made from the dried paste of cacao nibs, which helps to concentrate that dark chocolate flavor even further. It is not sweet, but it is dark and rich chocolate flavor. If you've ever seen cacao butter, this is made from cold pressing the cacao beans and extracting the fat 
that comes from the cacao bean. So how to use cacao. The nibs I think are great for toppings, smoothie toppings. You can even put them in cookies as maybe like a little hard chocolate chip. They're not a chocolate chip though, but uh, they're super versatile. They're a fun snack to eat. Definitely put on smoothies. They're fantastic. Cacao butter you can actually use to make a lot of different things from moisturizers to, this is my preferred method, your own chocolate. Combine the cacao butter with cacao powder, maybe a little maple syrup, a little sea salt, and you have this, put it on a tray with parchment, put it in the fridge, let it firm up, and you have your own beautifully healthy, packed with superfood, packed with nutrients chocolate bar at your disposal, which can be so awesome to have like a little piece of it to zen out in the evening after dinner. With cacao powder, the sky is a limit. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that I love using cacao powder. So the first is this chocolatey, beautiful smoothie. dark chocolate energy balls. I love to make these on a Sunday. I'll take like a half an hour, make these guys, and then I have them in the fridge all week for snacks during the day. to use your cacao powder so getting I mean I think this bag of cacao was seven or eight dollars this lasts for so long um, if you're not baking with it if you're baking with it and using large counted quantities it's not gonna last as long but using a tablespoon in a smoothie oh my god this lasts for so long also cacao is fantastic to put in like overnight oats and make chocolatey overnight oats so my main tip for cacao is really just to try it. Obviously when you're getting it, look for a quality ingredient. If you can get organic and ethically sourced, that's what you want and then start experimenting. Get your blender out, start trying chocolate smoothies, put some frozen bananas in the blender and make your own beautiful chocolate ice cream. So hopefully I've inspired you to get a crack in with cacao. <laughs> Um, leave me a comment below and let me know what kind of cacao recipes, if you like cacao, what you eat it with. I'm gonna leave all the links I talked about below, so check that out, check out where to get cacao. And if you wanna see any videos from me, please leave a comment and let me know. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more tips, recipes, and ways to apply plant-based living to your life to feel happier and healthier. My name is Lauren and I cannot wait to see you next Wednesday. Bye.